So um, let's turn to this other item that you've been blogging about, uh, the, the donut, the bacon and egg on a donut that uh, Dunkin Donuts is launching on Friday. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but uh, this just seems unstomachable to me, but um, presumably they, they think this is going to sell. Well, it has been selling in other, in, in other places, you know, this whole kind of idea of, uh, you know, using donuts as the bread for burgers and things right. like that. It's been kind of a state fair type food yep. for years and years. It's been on the menu of kind of, you know, restaurants that are trying to serve something extreme, you know, a bacon cheeseburger it's or whatever on a, on, a, on, a, on a donut bun. Even Google was serving it in their own uh, employee cafeterias a while back. Um, so, you know, it's something that's been around for a while. Obviously, Dunkin' Donuts have kind of worked out that it's uh, got enough appeal that it can go nationwide. And, and they're doing this in, in uh, recognition of uh, National Donut Day? or what, This what, Friday, this National Friday. Donut Day. Yes. Lest we forget. <laughs> exactly. A, a profound moment. Um, and and uh, apparently some history that Luther Vandross has to this particular delicacy. It's interesting. So, the you know, like I was saying, this, this, this sort of uh, cheeseburger on a donut bun mm -hmm. is known as a, a, as a Luther and right. has been for years. Because it was the... Uh, R&B singer's favourite dish at some Supposedly. point? Supposedly. So the urban legend goes Luther right. Vandross either invented it or used to ask for it or it's a little bit hazy whether this is actually true or not but it's the kind of thing that it's true enough that you want to believe in it anyhow. You know? and, now, and, and what's the calorie punch on this thing? It's actually, surprisingly, 360 calories which is oh. interestingly okay. less than <laughs> other Dunkin Donuts breakfast sandwiches they're already selling. So somehow they've managed to, I guess, cut down on something. Maybe it turns out the donut buns aren't donut? much worse no, than bread, you know, who knows? I don't know, just, just the very idea of all that fat and a pile of sugar on top of it just doesn't strike me as... Wait as, until, as wait until Bloomberg forward. finds out, you know? So are we expected to see some sort of competition from, uh, from, from, from the others to pull out an even more extreme sandwich for breakfast? It's a throwing down of the gauntlet in the whole donut sandwich kind of market, you know? <laughs> and now that Dunkin' Donuts is out there, the pressure's on everyone else to, to put up or shut up it's in the market, right? Throwing down of the gauntlet with, uh, with donuts being in the mix, that sounds like a rather frightening scenario. All right, Tom, thanks very much for your time. My pleasure. Great to see you again.